nine hours ago, Genshin Impact has released Alakino's character teaser. So I'm gonna check this one out in English version and Japanese version. So without further ado, well, um, let's check this um, character teaser. Let me wear my headphones because I'm freaking mine and check out Alakino's character teaser in a oh 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. Let me do some settings first. Only available at 1080p. No 4K quality, unfortunately. Still, let's not waste any more time and just jump right into Alakino's character teaser. Music already? I'm sorry, father. I was reckless. When I saw those emaciated patients, those poor children, the futile hope in their eyes. I've told you before, recklessness always leads to failure. But it was not wholly in vain. I shall settle the rest. Imaging Magnetata. Ah, those fools. They will never know the wonders of wealth. Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, he did. He's so dead. <sighs> this is the part where people will go... Father, please step on me. Oh, Fremine. Your face. Fremine, we can take in a few more homeless children next year. I have acquired some new funds. Oh, okay. New funds. Mission accomplished. You can sleep now. Yep, she definitely killed that guy. Thank you. Once I'm better, I'll start my next mission. And everything she did as well. The music though. Yep, she did. Oof. Those who parade their virtues often do the most evil. We are not like them. Rest in peace, Snajevna. My child. Well, that was a very interesting character teaser to say the least. And I wouldn't be surprised that her story quest that will be available on the 24th is going to be very dark and it's going to be somehow related to, to um, her backstory still I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it without a shadow of a doubt and you know what let me look for the japanese version of the of this character DC if you guys have came by let's check out the japanese version of the trailer and just so you know, even the Japanese version is only available at 1080p, not at 4K. Anyhow, let's just continue. Let's just check out the Japanese version. Thank <laughs> 彼らは淡い期待を抱いていた。衝動は失敗への近道だと前も言ったはずだ。だが収穫がなかったわけではない。あとは任せたまえ。Emerging Magnet Tata Full Philanthropist and Savior of the Poor Okay はあ、グミンどもに
<coughs> oh, he's there. These guys there for sure. And once again, I have to highlight. <laughs> this is the part where people will go, Father, please step on me. And he did. He's absolutely dead. お父様、お顔に。プレミネ。来年は身寄りのない子を多く迎えられそうだ。先ほど経費が手に入った。はい。任務は終わった。ゆっくり眠るといい。<笑> Yep, she definitely killed the Mushu Tatafu's body found. Yup, he's definitely dead. His scandalous reaping of profits under the guise of philanthropy exposed. His immense wealth has vanished without a trace. So, this proves that Alekino has has murdered this um, philanthropy so-called philanthropist and has took all of his um wealth for the funds for the house of the health i believe this is what it's called at this point right i think it's safe to say that alan kilo is more of an anti-hero at this point because when um the what you will call it when the all members of the factory harbingers was announced or revealed right my mindset was thinking okay i i it's safe to assume that uh, every single harbingers are there are practically villains so when 4.0 was about to be released right and then alan kino appeared I assume that Alokino will be the main villain for Fontaine Up. But it turns out she, um, it's not the case. As it turns out, right, she's just uh, more like a supporting character in a Fontaine story arc. And judging by this character teaser itself, right, she she takes more of more of a, either an anti-hero or an anti-villain. But it leans more to an anti-hero role from the way I see. セギを掲げる者は往々にして不義を働く。だが我々は違う。安心して眠れ。スネジブな。スネジブな。我が子よ。いや、にしべ、にしべ、ベリーインテレスティングストーリークエス。アケンフィールデディシュ、アレキノスト